going on. We have our packing party that's coming up in two weeks, two days, right? November 2nd and 3rd. Ed Langston is our point person. He, he uh, goes to our church, but he's also kind of the regional supervisor for Operation Christmas Child. And I'd like him to come up and give us a little challenge, Ed, about what's going on with Operation Christmas Child. 5,000. <laughs> oh, you want a lower challenge. Well, that's a big challenge. That is a big challenge. That's a big challenge. Well, good morning, Riverview. 10.6 million shoeboxes were packed last year. A record. This church did over 1,300. That means over 300 children came to know Jesus Christ as our personal savior because of you, because of us. So I wanted to pass that to you. Our regional goal aim is illumination. You know, we've had a lot of things happening here lately with the moon and the stars and the sun and all that other stuff. And I always ask the, the children, wh where does the moon get its light from? The sun. And as Chris, good, I, I, I already give you some more answers. I'll read right into him. Um, as Christians, where do we get our light? Where do we get our inspiration? The sun. What's the difference? S-O-N, and that's what we do in Operation Christmas Child. We give the shoeboxes to over 100 uh, countries every year. And uh, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart of what we've done in San Diego County, over 35,000 last year. At the sign-up table, I know, I, wow, there's a lot of people here, Pastor. Um, we need help. We need packers. We need people to prep and put everything together. We need uh, people who uh, will, will come and pack, but they will also come and eat. This is the best deal in Bonzel. So if you want to come on the 2nd and the 3rd at uh, 530, it's $5 an adult or 10 bucks for a family. Don't bring all your relatives from Maine <laughs> unless they're going to help pack. Pack, bring them and pack. So we need all kinds. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your work. Thank you for packing hauling and all that other stuff. And I used to play soccer when I was 65 years younger. I'll leave it at that. This is what we call a wow gift. You know, when you pack, they ask for a doll or a soccer ball or something. We were able to go without a middleman. This ball has a cross on it, and I know you may not be able to see it. It has a cross and a heart. And it says, Jesus loves you in five different languages. We're going to have 300 of those to pack, 150 a night. So if you want to pack one of these in a the box, you've got to get here early. So, and I know you can't see this. I, I usually bring a prop. Does anybody remember who I bring every year? Al. Al Paca. And what's his last name? Shoebuck. You, you pay attention. Al pack a shoebox. Well, Al, he went back to Peru. So this year, you can't see it way back there, but I'll read it to you upside down. Will you, you, she, will you pack a shoebox? Or two, or three. And before the pastor asked me, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for allowing me to do what I do. And after three years of COVID, I've been asked to go to Nairobi, Kenya, and hand out shoeboxes to the kids. <laughs> so thank you in advance, and we'll see you at the table. All right, all right. Good job, brother. I miss alpaca. Oh, man. So please sign up today, and we just love this project because obviously it's what Ed was talking about. It's bringing the gospel to these amazing kids and many of them praying to receive Christ and changing families, changing communities. So we love that. Let me give you some other announcements. Today we're having our Israel.